Hi, this is Tony Phillips from Phillips Fishworks, and I'm going to tell you all about Bag of Bugs. What is it? It's a microfauna biodiversity pack. Basically, it's lots of little tiny microscopic organisms. It's some material, some of their habitat they like to live in. Bag of Bugs is so much more than a monoculture of any particular type of organism. It's so much more than just a scud culture or a copepod culture. It is a plethora of animals. It's a very large, diverse group of creatures, most of them so microscopic you can't even see with your naked eye. But when you order bag of bugs, here's what you're getting. Everything that's coming out of this box is one bag of bugs. I have to pack it separately to keep things intact. So you're gonna get some sweet gum seed pods, they're an amazing little seed pod, great habitat, floating plants, uh, usually a little salvinia or duckweed, depends what the availability is. And here's the main bag, which has your sprig of plant, usually like a hornwort, also leaf litter, and this is where the majority of the microfauna is. Let's put them all together and see what we've got. Right off the bat, I want to talk about the debris. So this mulm or debris, it's actually mostly digested leaf and seed pods. So a lot of that's from the scuds, uh, the microfauna and the snails and the scuds. They're going to produce waste and this is going to start forming a broken down layer. And here's what lives in that layer. All the microscopic organisms that form the base of your food web, they're going to be living in this kind of soil layer which is made up of digested decaying organisms. That's the whole point of the food web. Feeds your fish, more importantly, breaks down the dead decaying organic material. And the bag of bugs is going to come with not only some of those organisms that are part of that web, but it's going to come up, come with some of their habitat. All these creatures together help form a balanced system because all these creatures together are able to more completely break down dead organic material. Different creatures, when consumed by the fish, have different vitamins and minerals inside of them. So that diverse food source is uh, very beneficial and healthy for your fish. These aquariums are not just a box with a fish and you feed it and there's a filter. It's actually a holistic system. It is a cooperation between thousands of different organisms, mostly microscopic. The bulk of the numbers of animals are actually in the microscopic realm. So what do you do with a bag of bugs? You can dump it right into your tank, debris and all. It will quickly settle down and it's not going to be unsightly. It will be fine. Put the seed pods where you want, the leaf litter where you want, but if you kind of have it all in a pile and you can make some layers of debris or layers of those leaves that will create habitat for the microfauna to hide, it will create habitat for the scuds so they can get away from the fish. You can also make a little microfauna tank, whether that's a gallon or two jar or, or a five gallon tank or a 10 gallon tank, but you can make a microfauna dominant tank. So here we are filling up a gallon jar. You can use some kind of substrate like sand or gravel or rocks. Then we're going to put all of the contents of the bag of bugs in there. This doesn't need a heater, doesn't need a special light. You could put it near a window so it gets some indirect sunlight. Uh, you could have a little aquarium light on it if you wanted, but everything goes in and you just want to observe it and watch it develop and grow. The microfauna or the little creatures in there, they will eat on that leaf litter and seed pod, but you're going to want to feed the jar just a little bit, tiny amount. You might put just a thin, thin slice of cucumber in there. If you put a big chunk of cucumber in there, it's going to create a big bacteria bloom which can give you some problems. So you wanna just go easy on the food. A couple little pellets, thin slice of cucumber, thin slice of fruit or veggie. But after a few weeks, you'll start to see things settling in. After a month or two, you'll start to see real increased numbers of microscopic organisms. So a bag of bugs is a sample of a established system. So it is a, a multitude of creatures that you can introduce to your system. And this will add to that diversity. This will add to that abundance. This is a step in the direction of a natural tank if you're not already in that direction. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.